It's your boy, DJ365, CDE News. Make sure y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell. Who I got in the building with me? You got karma. Karma is in the building. What it do, boo? What's going on, ladies? How y'all doing? We doing good. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, Let's just get straight into it. Where y'all from? We are from Memphis, Tennessee. The whole group, we all are, all three of us were based out of Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, okay. What was it like growing up out of Memphis? Well, if you know anything about Memphis, <laughs> it's a rough city. It's a rough city. So, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Like, uh, I done traveled a bit. Uh, we all have. We all traveled a bit. And, you, you know, it's kind of rough in other cities like New York and stuff. But, at the end of the day, you know, Memphis is a rough city. So, we feel like if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Especially for this being like a rap-based city. Mm-hmm. Like, us, like, coming out of rap-based city. Like, up as an R&B pop group, it was definitely difficult trying to get people to understand the vision. But, you know what I'm saying? People are catching on right now. We fuck with our city. We love it. Oh, God. For sure, they definitely is catching on. Uh, Y'all got a new song out? Switch it up. Now, right. and let's just talk a little bit about the group a little bit. Like, 
Let's talk about the karma life real quick. Y'all dating anybody? You know, karma? You no. Know, do y'all are y'all single? Y'all got somebody? Well, what's going on with that? Oh boy. <laughs> focus on this music just focus on getting to the bag and just reconnecting with our fans as far as our personal life, love life we kind of put it you know to the side right now so that's I, to be real with you like music and and the love life it's hard it's hard to do both at the same time it's a, a tough thing to try to juggle now some people are successful at it but in, in order to connect to music you have to put something on the back burner and, and you know being in a relationship people want to feel like they're important in a relationship but when you got music and you're doing music you got to be married to the to the music married to the music well. so like i you know i do look forward to like the relationship lifestyle too but at the same time i'm trying to like balance it and that's like why we, also why we were the in the game change like it's all about balance. it's all about balance like I'm trying to find Got you. Trying to find Got you. Y'all men out there listening right now, they ain't looking to put no ring on the finger. But let's talk about some different commitments. <laughs> like, in the studio, are y'all in the studio every day or do you just have to, like, go in there for a couple days, take a break for a week? What's your process like? So, when we do get in the recording process, it is a, a everyday thing and a long, you know, a long hour. Hours. It's hours. Because we're vocalists. So, like, we can't just go in the, in the booth and just drop anything, you know. Like, we can't just come off the dome and just drop everything that we're saying. Like, we're vocalists, so we have to lay down uh, track after track after track. When it comes to our vocal, we got to layer that shit so it sounds good and it sounds fat and nice and it's pleasing to the ear. Um, But, right, we are about to go into a recording phase for about a month or two. Um, but right now, we're just working on the writing right now. The writing. And we do the writing phase, and we will be in the studio day and night. And even with the writing phase, like, this process that we're going through in life right now is helping us with our writing phase. Because you got to have experiences to write, you know? Right. So, you got you to gotta experience life. Because if you don't experience shit, you can't write about shit. So, like, we have to get outside. We got to be outside in order to write. <laughs> Right. So that's what kind of like you know, the phase we're in right now. We outside, so like you know what the fuck we're gonna write about. What we gonna say? So we're in the writing phase, but next month we will be studio, 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 studio. Um, I just talk about the sounds. You know, are y'all getting into any new sounds or sounds that y'all never got into, like rock or you know blues or anything like that? Or are you still just looking to do R and B and pop? So we're a crossover group. Mm-hmm. We know anything about our previous career you'll see that we tried country we tried pop we tried rock we tried to do rap like that's what we covered because that's another thing about karma we like we're all around like we're universal we're global like we can we can cross over so we don't want to be ever depicted as one type of thing like one thing because it is three personalities within this group and each person in this group can make uh, a sound more vibrant because they can carry that type of weight. You know what I'm saying? Like, KB, her style, Kirsten, her style is real, like, cool. The gangster, the thug. Like, so she is going to bring that type of sound to her when it comes to, like, the urban side and rapping and flow and Was that a the pressure on trying to be like from 
like from the parents' perspective, like really molding you up? Was there any Joe Jacksons around? My mother is the male, the female Joe Jackson. I, I stepped in. She was so hard on us growing up, um, but it, it developed us into being who we are today. Like, if I didn't have that guidance, if we didn't have that guidance, we wouldn't be as great as we are. We wouldn't even know what to do or how to even get to our goals. So, um, man, I appreciate that lady so fucking much. I love her so fucking much because she's a genius. And my dad is also a genius too. He stood behind her while she created this vision that she had for us. Like, man, that's a long story. That's going all in the documentary. Okay. But think about Joe Jackson, Tina knows, Matthew knows. I mean, any 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 manager of a group. If you think about all of them tied into one, that lady is that. Miss T is a musical genius she knows how to artist develop she 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 she, she, know, what it she takes. knows what it takes she knows what it takes she knows what it takes and she knew that we needed to be three females who are triple threats because we will venture off into being in movies that's like music is not gonna be the end for us like we will venture off into being on tv reality tv shows and in movies acting while we sing like we're one of those girl groups where we we're not gonna just sit on our stage and serenade you like but we can do that as well like we just gotta be all the way around triple threat got you got you where can they find you where, where can they find y'all at on social media official karma music on ig we are official karma music and on facebook is the real karma club we are verified on there and then our Twitter is underscore karma music underscore. Gotcha. So, but we're both active on our Instagram and our, I'm sorry, is the real karma club and karma playhouse. We have our own individual TikTok, but we are about to start up our TikTok page because we know that's about to be a, a look too. <laughs> you can find all of our personal accounts from our Instagram. For sure. All right. All right. Hey, I just had an exclusive interview with Karma. Make sure y'all hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell. All right, man. Gang.